Hello everybody, Dirk the Engineer here once again. Um, I just uh, wanted to show this because uh, I thought it was uh, really pretty amazing. Um, so in that last video series I was using um, steel pins to uh, um, act as guide pins for the reversible machining and uh, these are actually stainless steel um, I think they're probably 304 I'm not really sure what kind it is I didn't really say at the hardware store so um, but yeah I mean I was using a 3 16th bit and you can see these were the same size it took half of that pin away before this thing broke and you can see actually what the spiral profile was that I was using for uh, cutting the cutting the pin. Now I'm not exactly sure how I got the uh, pin placement G code included with the um, the cutout profile that I was using, but somehow I must have had an option checked somewhere in uh, in the the busyness of everything that was going on in the shop today. I didn't check the G code in Mach 3 to make sure that it was a okay. Um, I need to come up with a procedural checklist um, so that I can, you know, step through and go through all that kind of stuff, um, you know, step at a time when I uh, when I do this. So I would recommend that for everybody. But I just can't believe how how much that took before the bit broke. Um, also shows how fast things happen on these mills. Um, it, you know, it half the pin was gone before I realized that there was a problem and got to the you know the e stop. So, uh, boy, you know, it just makes you think that you know you got to be super careful with this. Uh, kind of stuff because it can happen in a hurry um, before you realize anything's going wrong. So, a um, little bit of sobering uh, things to think about today, but uh, also, really, look at that. I mean, that's machine smooth, man. I just never would have expe expected that. I thought as soon as it would have hit steel, it would have uh, broke the bit. But man, it lasted quite a bit. Uh, there was quite a bit of heat that was generated. I know that in the in the whole the reference hole that was left in the wood it was all scorched um, so anyway wow look at that was such a heavy cut too even for um, you know high speed machining but yeah I mean that was pretty impressive so just thought I would share that with you guys it was pretty neat uh, kind of for a mistake <laughs> glad nobody got hurt so thanks I'll talk to you guys later uh, this is Dirk the Eng. Remember to like, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.